We know now from the evidence that the most vulnerable and poor will suffer more from climate change. Strengthening resilience of smallholder farmers can prevent a climate shock to become a crisis. Soils are very important in the equation of keeping the uh, temperatures below 1.5 degrees. Soils contribute twice as stocking what is already there and as increasing sequestration of carbon in the atmosphere. You can't address climate change without addressing soil management. The forests are heavily impacted by climate change. At the moment, 11% of all the greenhouse gas, gas emissions come from deforestation and forest degradation. But we can change that. We can make forests part of the solution by reducing deforestation and degradation, by restoring degraded forest lands, and by planting more trees and forests. The livestock sector is a sector that is highly vulnerable to climate change. But at the same time, the sector is responsible for 14% of the total greenhouse gas emissions. And if we think about the future, with the expected increasing demand for food, especially animal protein, the sector must produce safe and nutritious food while reducing its environmental impact. We know that agriculture is one of the most sensitive sectors to climate change. The whole issue here is about the future. This is the time of big urgency and we have to take great actions on all the sectors, including agriculture. So that means that we have to think about the resilience of the systems. So on one hand, we have to be efficient and make sure we don't use the resources and waste them, including the food we produce, but also having a system that can cope with the increasing impact of climate change.